everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Hi Harry, how you doing? I'm waving to everybody in the... He's waving. Did you ever notice that there's always a microwave behind Wendy? Always. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, in both houses, huh? Uh-huh. Anyway, you guys, we're really excited because last night I made the new Keto Chow cantaloupe. Yes, I did. I'm super excited. Got it right here. But you guys, we're traveling to Las Cruces, New Mexico today. So I'm putting this in my freezer because I can right next to the other ones that I've got going here. I've got chocolate core Keto Chow right there. Anyway, I'm super excited about this because my dad was born and raised in the South and every summer he would get a cantaloupe and he would slice it in half and put vanilla ice cream scoop in the middle mm -hmm. where he'd seed it, take all the seeds out and we would have cantaloupe with ice cream. So I'm super excited to try this for you guys. But I can't do that till we stop for the night in Las Cruces because we've got to get on the road. Now, I'm going to film, uh, we're not going as far as many miles as we did last night. Um, last night was the longest leg that we've done, that we'll be doing until we get home, which is the good thing. So we're gonna be able to upload this tonight for everybody. So I'm super excited. We'll share some scenery. We'll share some talking in the car. We'll share what we eat. And I kinda of wanna go out for steak dinner tonight because everything is tucked away and put away. And it's nice to keep it that way so that, um, because we're only spending one night again, and then we're going down to Tombstone and we're staying for like four nights. Didn't have ice cream last night and I really wanted cantaloupe, but here he said, uh-uh, can't do it till you share with everybody. Don't forget, we've got a 10% discount code down in the description below. So oh, you guys- Oh, look that package there. If you like cantaloupe, it smells delicious. It does. It smells so good. And if you're missing your melons, if you're a fruity person, I would suggest you run. Don't walk. They're limited. Don't wait. We're going to taste this for you tonight and we're going to share our ice cream. But you guys, I've got to put these away because we're on the road today. So I definitely miss the melons. Yes. Harry's favorite melon was cantaloupe. He was so excited about that. That's the only one he likes. He's not as much of a watermelon guy. He did not like um, honeydew at all, but he loved cantaloupe. Yep. When we were vegan, we had cantaloupe all the time. Restaurants, yep. fruit, cantaloupe. He was a cantaloupe, cantaloupe, cantaloupe guy. So I can't wait to see how Harry likes this. And we'll give you our, your, our honest opinion, but we've got to get on the road. So I've got to tuck these back away. Yes, I do. And I may or may not have stuck in a couple, one or two in the Keto Chow box. Kathleen for you. So be on the lookout. We haven't been able to mail it yet. They had nothing in Fort Stockton that we could find by the time we were there. So it may take a little while, but I've got something extra in there for you as a gift. Anyway, on the road we go. See you guys in the next segment on the road. Hey everybody, we are camped at Hacienda RV Resort in downtown Las Cruces, New Mexico. We went to the Texas Roadhouse for an early meal and this is where we went and what we had to eat. Hey everybody, we are in Las Cruces, New Mexico and we are at Texas Roadhouse and I have a salad with ranch dressing, egg, cheese, no croutons, no tomatoes. I ordered a ribeye, 14 ounce ribeye, medium rare and Harry ordered a double cheese, bacon cheeseburger, patties only and then um, he gets a side of the green beans and I got green beans because they had carrots for the vegetable. We won't probably eat those, but I felt like a salad, so I'm having a little bit of it. But we're staying at a really nice uh, RV resort. It's called Hacienda RV Resort and it's a nice little resort. They have a hot tub, they don't have a pool. But anyway, you guys, we'll share our food when we come and when we get it. We're only spending the night here and then we're on to Tombstone, Arizona. That we're gonna stay there for four nights, so. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. Well, you guys, I have got my ribeye 
Yes, I do. 14 ounces of deliciousness. Harry's got his double cheeseburger. They put all the lettuce and stuff on the side. Yeah, which I won't even use. Nope. And I have got my Redmond Real Salt, so we are ready to rock and roll and eat. So this is what I am having to eat for dinner. And this is what Harry's having to eat, guys. Gotta eat now. And we'll show you some of the drive here, some of the things we grabbed along the way here. So we are eating the uh, country fresh, Harry's got it, the package of it. Got the beef stick with the cheese. This one is the uh, skim mozzarella, the oyster one. And they're pretty good. They're not terribly bad. Carbs are super low. And we can give Sally some of the cheese, so works out pretty good, don't you think, Harry? Which one is this one? This one is which is the country fresh meats again that loves carries the whole package is 340 um, calories and we share a package and it's one carbohydrate total so that's half a carbohydrate right here and I'm sure that's where the cheese I'm not sure though so anyway that's what we're doing how you doing Sal? well I'm waiting for some cheese I want some cheese man oh, give her a little bit Anyway, you guys, we're on um, 72 miles from Santa Cruz, so we just wanted to share what we're doing along the way. It's hard to believe that this is a rest stop. Look at that. Look at this place, it's nuts. And over here is the bathrooms. But, I mean, it's like, look at this, it's got like an entry area and area. it's just nuts. Anyway, I think this is the nicest uh, rest stop I've ever seen. See over there, that's they have little place you can eat lunch at. Right over there. Over here they have a play area for kids. Crazy. Nicest restaurant rest stop in Texas. Oh yeah. This is like the ones they have in Idaho, you know, on occasion. I mean They've got enough. I don't know if they're like here you to the bit. They've got enough room for uh, 50 trucks, 100. Yeah. I mean, this is huge. And it's beautiful. Well, it looks like there's a concert hall in there. And they have a playground and everything for the kids. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, got to go now. Back on the road again. Here we coming into New Mexico, folks, on I-10. There we are now oh, in New Mexico. And you can see Mexico over yonder. That's Harry. Hi, uh, Harry. You see the fence? No, can't see it from here. Okay. You can see it back where we were. How's little Sally's doing? I'm fine. I'm bored. You're bored? Yeah, I'm bored. Well, sorry about that. We're almost to Las Cruces. How about 32 more miles? 23 more. Oh, how about 23 more miles, Sal? <laughs> anyway, folks. Yep, we're in New Mexico. But you guys, if you hear clunking, it's my ice maker back here. My little ice maker. I love it. We're making some ice, but you guys, I'm so excited because we get to try the cantaloupe ice cream. Keto Chow ice cream. We made this with butter. Yes, we did. We made it last night. So it's nice and ready. I'm so excited. Got my Ninja Creamy. This is Arvita's Ninja Creamy. I like it so much that, yes, yes, I splurged when they were on sale at Costco and got the uh, the XL, the large one, 
and I'm so glad we did because you guys, we love it. Full light ice cream. We'll come back when it's a Ninja Creamy with cantaloupe ice cream, you guys. Yeah, I think it's done. Let's take a peek, you see, and see. Ooh, I think I want to do half a spin, uh, a re-spin. Yeah. One more. Oh man, that smells good. It smells like cantaloupe. Ah. Okay, let's do half a re-spin. Let's do re-spin. Should be done. Let's take a peek, you see. Oh, 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 oh yeah there you go there you have it just the way i like look it look at that mm. now you guys we fill it up to this line to this where the rib ribbing in the wall stops right there and look how much you get now i like the thicker she likes the top i like the top because it scoops just like ice cream that way it gets a little bit creamier in the bottom, which is what Harry really likes, is the creaminess. Yeah, I like it creamy. But I love... Man, that smells I good. like soft serve. And she I likes like out of it. the carton serve. I like the carton. Yeah, when we used to have ice cream in a box. Mm -hmm. Oh, he likes the... Um, look at that. That looks delicious. He likes the uh, iciness on the sides, yeah, too. Yeah, I tell you, I love uh, eating the ice off the side of the, the container. And you guys, this is one serving of keto chow in here. And you get a ton of ice cream. And it is cold and delicious. Isn't it, Harry? Oh, yeah. You guys, come back, and we'll do a taste test. You guys, check it out. We've got cantaloupe keto chow ice cream. Oh yeah, man, that smells good. Doesn't it, Harry? Oh yeah. Yeah, okay you guys, let's go give it a taste test, shall we? So I'm reading the back and the cantaloupe only has four total grams of carbs for this whole thing that we're eating here because this is one packet. Ooh. Well, it does taste like cantaloupe. <laughs> Harry's not even waiting for me. He's just sneaking in that bite, does it? Yeah. Does it? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like it's got that vanilla ice cream in the middle? Yeah, it's a little bit of mulch, you know what I mean? Get, mm. get like vanilla ice cream and cantaloupe in there. Oh, wow. I know, not that wild? Isn't wow. That weird, man. This tastes like a real ripened off the vine, cold from the refrigerator, sliced open, seeded, and eaten. Mm. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys crazy? this. This is crazy. And you it's guys, if, you're, if you miss cantaloupe, run. Don't walk. Go now, down in the description below, click on our link to get 10% off and get this now. This is a limited edition. When it's gone, it takes a while for them to get it back. And I'm telling you, this tastes exactly to me like cantaloupe that had a scoop of vanilla ice cream in it. Oh my gosh, this is better than I thought. I mean, this, even if you didn't like cantaloupe, give this a try. Oh, because yeah. this is sweet. It'll surprise you. It's fruity. It's delicious. Oh my gosh. Mmm. 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 Wow. Harry was the cantaloupe aficionado. Mm -hmm. So tell me. Mmm. Closing your. It, the back taste is total it's, it's, cantaloupe. It's wild. Man. It's total cantaloupe. Wow. It's like what you think cantaloupe ice cream would taste like. Mm hmm. You know. Wow, wow, wow. Did you put anything in here? I put butter. Okay. 
and cantaloupe, uh, keto challenge, yeah, this, one right? package, right, one. and the water, I fill the water up to the line, which is exactly 14 ounces in the size right. Ninja Creamy that we have, right. and I freeze it, I blend it up with my little whipper, just mm. the coffee whipper, put it in the refrigerator overnight. When I close my eyes, I taste cantaloupe, cantaloupe melon balls all day long okay you guys we've got to eat this before it melts and you guys have to run don't walk get your cantaloupe keto chow today i'm telling you it's amazing if you miss the melons if you miss the cantaloupe go get some man that's good this is really good my dad would have been in heaven mm. well he's in heaven now hey dad you got to try this Mmm. Already have with <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Wow, that is good. Okay, I'm going to say something to Chris and Miriam. Of all the fruit flavors that you have brought forth, the, you know, blueberry pie, the strawberry, you know, the raspberry cheesecake, the peach, the lemon meringue, the key lime, all of the fruitiness, the, the orange mango, the, the guava, the all of them. This cantaloupe flavor tastes like the real fruit doesn't have a candy taste. It doesn't have any artificial taste to it. You could serve this at a high-end uh, wedding shower. Yeah. With the vanilla cake with cream cheese frosting and have a scoop of this on the side instead of a sorbet and everybody would die over this if they like cantaloupe i am telling you right now banana tastes the most like a real fruit to me this tastes more like a fruit than the banana and i love the banana i love the banana but this you i have never had cantaloupe anything i've never seen cantaloupe drinks or cantaloupe flavoring uh, candy or cantaloupe ice cream. I've never seen it. Or a fruit bar, you know, the, the, the uh, fruit bars that you get in the summertime. Make the cantaloupe ice cream. Serve it at your next barbecue, picnic, 4th of July as a dessert. For those naysayers, those people that are on the fence for keto, this is something that you can serve them <laughs> if they like cantaloupe you're gonna love this it's like the difference between real blueberries the taste of real blueberries and blueberry pie keto chow i love both but there's a difference in the flavor this when i close my eyes even after i have swallowed the cantaloupe ice cream on my tongue i taste cantaloupe Plain and simple, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna make another one right now because we're traveling tomorrow down to Tombstone. I just basically rinse this out. I fill my, oops, I gotta wash it, but I fill it up to the freeze fill number one line with water. I don't even have to measure it because that's perfect. Put my keto chow in there, put my butter in there, whip it up, pop it in my freezer overnight. I'm going to make a keto chow um, drink with this. That would be amazing. It's been so hot. And now we've gone from the humid, horribly humid 90s to 108 dry heat today. And trust me, I like the dry heat. Oh, yeah. Now I, after experiencing I do. that down there, uh, down yeah, south, I really Texas understand what they mean by dry heat now. Yes. Because yes. it, yes, it is. Well, I'm going to take my shower tonight. My hair is not going to be curly. It's going to go back. Uh, the closer we get to Arizona, the more it's not going to be curly. 
So anyway, you guys, I'm just saying we are having a great time. Yes, we had some curveballs, some severe weather. We had to get a new muffler for the truck. But all in all, Harry and I are having a really nice time, aren't we, dear? Yep. We're, we're taking our time. We're just enjoying everything. And we're staying uh, carnivore, keto-ish, keto carnivore-ish. We, I had a salad today. Last, yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday, dinner was not good. Oh, was We terrible. didn't even film it. It was not good. I won't even tell you the name of the restaurant because I don't want people to get up in arms. But the steak, I've never had a ribeye. I, I don't think it was a ribeye. There's no fat in it. And it was the toughest ribeye I've ever had I in think my they life. were frozen totally hard and they defrosted them or something. I don't know. Really bad because it was a bad job. They had a, uh, they call it their chuck wagon um, salad bar. And I was hungry for something crunchy and cold like a salad and I had one. Harry had one and he spent the night doubled up in pain. His gut was in so much pain. He I got just up. stayed up. What time did you, you got up out of bed and mm -hmm. stayed up till like 3, 4 a.m. Yeah, in the morning. 3 o'clock. And um, so not good, not good. So we're gonna be uh, carnivore with the exception of our keto chow. I love keto chow, it doesn't bother us. We've done so many tests, so many glucose tests, so many blood spike tests. We've done all the tests and we do really well with keto chow. I have keto chow core. I've got the strawberry vanilla and the chocolate, but I'm gonna add some of these, you know, because I'm telling you, I'm just, I'm just, I'm amazed. And I never in a million years would have thought keto chow would have come up with a cantaloupe flavor and it's amazing I mean it's amazing and I can take or leave I mean other than having it with the scoop of ice cream with my dad super cold this will not disappoint that's all I'm saying anyway you guys hope you guys enjoy everything that we brought to you today our little trip on the way and all the fun things that we've done uh, eating in the car and all of those things we are on our way tomorrow to tombstone where we're going to be there for four nights and we're going to share everything along the way too so if you have not done so already and you guys like our show please remember to subscribe to our channel that helps our channel grow please remember to give us a thumbs up please remember to like and subscribe ring that little bell so you get notified i try to go to the community tab and notify folks if we're not going to put up a film Sometimes I'm bad and I forget to do that. But for most part, I'll leave a little note for everybody so you guys get to know what's going on. Anyway, you guys, don't forget the thumbs up. Throw us out to the YouTube universe so other folks like you can find us. And go check up Sally. Hey, Sally, what you doing over there? I'm sleeping, Mom. Well, Dad left a little bit of keto chow ice cream for you. Would you like to try some cantaloupe? Yeah. Okay. Ice cream. Cantaloupe. What's cantaloupe? Cantaloupe is, is a delicious fruit. Taste that. Mmm. That's not bad. That's pretty good, huh? Is it cold? Yeah, it's cold on my tongue. It's so good. Yeah, you're tired from all the traveling, aren't you? Yeah, I don't get to sleep much. Mm. Oh, that's cold. You're going to say goodnight, everyone? Good night, everybody. <laughs> okay. You're cute. Okay. Night, everybody. Good night, everyone. I'm telling you. It's one of my new... Of all the fruits, bananas taking second place, and I made banana pancakes, banana chocolates, but for ice cream fruit flavor number one it's number one yep yes indeed